having to communicate, know the sets, all right, uh, on the half court. Lots of ball screens, flat ball screens, 13 looks, all right. So how we handle that is going to be you. Team on three, one, two, three. Team. Team. Let's go. Okay, strong with the basketball on our shot selection. Uh, we know that they're going to get out if we take bad shots, all right, or quick shots or long rebounds, so we got to make sure we know that. <laughs> steps doing it inside Tony Johnson oh my great finish because it looked like Malcolm Miller was ready to swat it and that's a yeah I think just our rotations and our talking because right away we were kind of we were kind of slow to rotate and they were getting wide open layups um, so I think our backside and our help side was really helping in and uh, helping off of their guys to help on, on Ditsinski because he was he was just killing us right away. So. Defend, um, we can really get out, push in transition. I know last time we didn't have very many transition buckets just because they scored so often. Um, makes our life pretty difficult when they shoot 68%. Um, like the coach has been saying all week, if they shoot that high percent again, then we're most likely not going to get a win out of it. So. Um, we just really focused on uh, our defense this week and uh, knowing that that would lead to transition buckets. And I think today we got out um, early on and we were able to extend that lead because we got a lot in transition. We're looking at it as the first game with Lehigh in this season. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it starts all over again. He's a kind of feed off the crowd sometimes. Do you feel like the energy in the building kind of helps you guys, you know? And when you're yeah, out there? definitely. I mean, having a, a home game is a big advantage for us because our fans are second to none, I would say, in the league. So it's, a, it's really a big boost for us. 